All right, today is April 4th. This is the KCP community meeting. Welcome everybody. Uh, looks like a light crowd today. Maybe some folks will join. I've got the uh, issue for the community meeting created in GitHub. And I'll just paste the link here if anybody needs it. Uh, I only created it a minute or two ago, so I'm not surprised that there's only one thing on here. So uh, Steve, uh, we'll turn it over to you. Would you like me to pull this up or do you want a screen share? Oh, I don't, I'm not going to try to run through the, the details. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, a couple of weeks ago, we um, uh, sort of opened a discussion on the K KCP uh, forum for uh, users that were trying to do workspace as a service type things. Um, we know that right now, a lot of our, uh, a lot of the ways that we model permissions for cross workspace concepts are based on user identities and that sort of breaks down when you add a bunch of service accounts into the mix. Um, so while thinking through how we might support workspaces as a service, one of the things I uh, am trying to focus on is like, do we, are we better served with a different way of modeling these types of entitlements across workspaces? Um, and right now we're kind of bending over backwards to make some of the RBAC we're using work. So uh, I've started writing a proposal um, in the enhancements repo for how we might uh, model entitlements in a way that uh, sort of sidesteps a lot of these issues by not tying them to users in, uh, specifically. Um, and then critically, another part of this design that um, you know requires some thought, uh, this similar to quota is kind of a, a system that isn't well served by putting a bunch of data in at CD and propagating things throughout the workspace tree when things change. So trying to find a, a middle ground of an implementation that works for bootstrapping, but also a pluggable interface that you know others can add more capable things later uh, is, is a goal. So um, if any of that sounds useful to you, uh, please uh, take a look. Um, any feedback is, is welcome. Thanks, Steve. Uh, anybody have any initial questions or comments? I realize folks haven't had time to read this, so that's totally fine if there aren't any. OK. Um, nothing else on the agenda. So um, I will give a status update on the 126 rebase. Update. So um, I have it all compiling, and most of the end-to-end -end tests do pass. I am working through individual ones uh, as I <laughs> find them. So one that was a bit of a challenge was the um, validating and mutating webhook code we had modified in the fork to be multi-cluster aware. And in 125 or 126, there's a new admission plugin called uh, Validating Admission Policy, which does not use webhooks. It is CEL based, but it does share some of the same code for matching namespaces that the webhooks use to determine if uh, a webhook should be invoked. And the new admission plugin is obviously not multi-cluster aware. And rather than try to make it so, which would be a fairly large effort because it does cache some data by namespace and name, I decided to undo the changes that we had done to the webhooks to make them multi-cluster aware, which then required me to go into the KCP webhook code and redo that to make it uh, multi-cluster aware. So I, I basically shifted it up a layer. It's probably going to be more inefficient, or I should say less efficient, because it is instantiating, validating, and mutating webhook plugins on the fly. Um, but I think I probably could cache some of that. The bigger issue is that each instance of the plugin has a cache for clients that connects to um, external webhooks or even service-based webhooks. And uh, that cache is fixed at 200, it's an LRU. So each time I create an instance of the plugin, 
we get an LRU that's sized at 200, uh, which is probably not super efficient. So we can look to increase efficiencies later. I just want to get this working for right now. And then if we need to make some changes upstream, I think there's some ways that we could do that so we can reuse the client cache because it's, it's not even reused upstream between the validating and mutating uh, plugins. Uh, David, you got your hand up. I think you're muted if you're talking. Sorry, I was just uh, uh, updating the comments and, and putting my mic back. Yes, I just wanted to um, give a short notice about the fact that uh, after quite much work, uh, Joachim uh, updated the latest uh, and the KCP GLBC for them who, those who didn't know this uh, KCP side project, it was done some months ago by, by another team providing um, global ingress for KCP. That's mainly work coming out from the Quadrant um, community project. And uh, this was an integration, but based on very old KCP and still using the provisional advanced scheduling hacks that uh, have been dropped in the meantime. And, and that's very huge work here. Uh, now all the tests are, you know, green and passing uh, after updating to the latest KCP. And in fact, that would be the first step to really uh, a, a real global ingress um, for KCP, which would be based, uh, and that's the next step of the work, on the coordination controller pattern. So for now, it was, you know, uh, down completely before uh, even the deployment coordinator. But the next step now should be uh, quite straightforward and easy to move that into the right pattern and also have, you know, a default uh, global ingress coordinator uh, available for KCP. Uh, just for the... Very cool. Thank you. Um, I'm assuming this is supposed to say a POC, not... Uh, a peak, yeah. I mean, uh, I was just writing the message, so I'll continue. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> the message after once. Very cool. Uh, that, that'll be exciting. I, I think um, if there's time when that's updated, it would be really cool to demo it at the community meeting. Cool. And then also, um, if I know it's a lot harder and a lot more work, but if you wanted to uh, put together a video that we could throw up on YouTube, that'd be cool too. Yeah, hopefully in the next weeks that should be possible. Awesome. Um, anybody have any other topics for today? Well, I'm perfectly happy to end early and let folks get back to carrying on if that makes sense. Okay. Well, have a great week, everybody. Uh, it's short, but that's okay. And we'll see you next time. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Bye.